And joining us now to break down the convention is political expert Tom Serafin. Thanks for coming in today. Absolutely. What a week for the Republicans. Last night, Nikki Haley, Ron DeSantis. Talk about unity, his former rivals. This momentum for them must just be incredible right now. It is. If you, we sat here a week ago and we wondered how they were going to play this out, how they were going to meet the Democratic forces that were out there. In five days, it's completely changed. Mm -hmm. Now they are on the offense, the Republicans, and the Democrats are on the defense. Now the Democrats are trying to figure out where we go next, and the Republicans are saying, we're united, we're focused. What's interesting, though, you don't see President George Bush Vice President Cheney, Romney, the senator, you know, you don't see those old time mm -hmm. people. You don't see the neocons on the floor. Last night you saw all regular working people, they call them the muscle workers, people that work with their backs. And they were talking about losing their child to fentanyl. They were talking about having their child knifed on the streets in New York. I mean, they were talking about real guts, real issues on the street. And, you know, I was really impressed with the head of the Teamsters. He came in the night before last and just chastise the, re the Republican base, the, the workers, the business guys, and the people that take over the government and don't do anything for the little guy. And they, he was speaking to the many of the guilty right. parties. The Donald Trump party is here. It's new, it's different, and it's gonna be tough to stop. Okay, let's talk about this stuff because one, the, one of the topics tonight is gonna be immigration. Mm -hmm. And the president is just touting today that his asylum policy on the border has resulted in a 29% drop on arrest. How are the Republicans going to take this and uh, say, is it not enough? Uh, or it's li too little, too late? We can do better, we can do more? Because that's a pressing issue for voters. Uh, I think uh, it's, it's too little, too late, they're going to say. Uh, this is Vice President uh, nominee, uh, Mr. Senator Vance's mm -hmm. evening. He comes from the Appalachia area of Ohio, southern Ohio. He comes from the poor family. He's going to talk about what it's like to try to make it in our world today, in our society today. That's his message. It's going to contrast with the message that the migrants are coming here. Come here, but come here legally. That's the Republican message. Uh, but the, the irony is right now, the cloud hanging over everything is the Secret Service situation. And was there something going on? Wasn't there something going on? And unfortunately, you know, the, the Secret Service you know, director, she is doing her best, but when she says the roof was too slope for a Secret Service person, well, everybody my age is working on roofs lately, you know, mm -hmm. because of the weather problems in the Midwest. Uh, that's 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 ridiculous and then when she talks about a param, uh, perimeter there is no perimeter when you're covering the president you're you're always looking always looking mm -hmm. so you know it's incompetence and i think the president president biden could do so well for himself if he made a change he actually held someone accountable in dc to step up and be nobody tougher. is accountable in dc for anything here something went wrong so find it and correct it and move on show that he's presidential that's what he needs to do. You know, they're still trying to get him so to get out of the race. So let's talk about that because uh, you, now that we're talking about uh, President Biden, so the Democrats are saying they're moving forward with this nomination. It's probably going to be the first week of August. This is despite continuing calls for the president to step aside. What do the Democrats need to do? Is it time to move this back and be unified? Yeah, the Democrats absolutely need to come together uh, and come together under behind Joe Biden. Joe Biden's not going anywhere. Uh, 85, 90 percent, the odds are that he stays right where he is, no matter what Adam Schiff and others are saying publicly lately. They're still trying to maneuver behind the scenes. He's going to be nominated. Now, one of the reasons, and you mentioned it, is what's going on in Ohio with that primary or that recognition day where they have to be on the ballot. Well, they moved that from August 7th to September 1st. So there's no real hard legal requirement for the Democrats to do it. But there is politically. Biden wants to be nominated. He doesn't want a floor fight. He doesn't want to have demonstrations on the street. He wants to go in as the nominee. Joe Biden despite what people are saying about him, is showing that he's really a good politician. I mean, he knows how to work the politics. I don't think his staff is doing a good job on national issues for him, mm -hmm. but he does have a good political staff and he's working. His instincts are good. 
Can these other ones who have asked him to step aside come back and say, oh, we were wrong, we changed our mind, this is the person we are backing, this is our Democratic nominee, this is our president? Well, they have to, because, you know, this is that race, what's going to happen? Yes. If, if you're a good politician, you're going to do that, because this race is too close to call. It's still close, too, oh, and that's the important the, thing to know. Republicans have the advantage. What's happened. But the Republicans, the, Donald Trump has a cap. The Democrats can go higher. Right now, enthusiasm is all with the Republicans. So you're going to have, if the race were held today, the Republicans would win. Mm -hmm. But the Democrats have a, have a lot of time. Look what happened in five days here. Right. Remember, the, he controls the White House, the world economy. You're talking about an October surprise? It happens all the time. Tom Serafin, very interesting. Thank you for coming in and breaking mm -hmm. this down for us. We Welcome. appreciate your time.